Can you make this incredible hover effect by using the Elementor page builder? Yes, absolutely. Let's take a look at this animation. Actually, a lot of things is going here. You can see these shuffling images, this box color change, this smooth border animation, these arrows, and all of them making together this really cool shaking effect. So without further ado, let's see how can we make this hover effect. So first of all, I want to say that to create this advanced animation, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Now here I want to start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to apply this effect on your website, you can also get this as a ready-made template from my Gumroad shop only for $2.99. And here with the main template, as a bonus, I will also give you another dark version of this same template. So here after downloading this template, you can get a JSON file like this. So what you need to do, if you just go to your page and go to this template upload option, and let's just drag this json file to here and you will see this template elementor shaking image hover effect let's just insert this and you can see this complete hover effect and also this dark version so from here if you want to change any of this content like this text or these colors you can also do that so if i go to this navigator and from here you can change all of these shuffling images and you can also see these other elements like this bottom line, this arrow, all of the thing. And here with this hover effect, additionally, if you want to add a link with each of these boxes, you can also do that from each of the inner sections. So here from this attribute option, you can also set any of your pages link. Even if you want to change this white text color and this dark background color on this hover state, you can also change that from here. Okay, but if you don't want this template, you can also start it from scratch. So let's delete our these two sections. And here let's take a brand new section with four columns. And first of all, I want to set some padding with that. So from this advanced tab, let's make this padding. And let's also set a background color from here. Then inside our first column, first of all, I want to take an inner section. So let's drag this to here and delete our this second unnecessary column now to create our this box shape we will use this divider widget so let's drag inside this and go to this style settings and i want to give it a height from here to 180 or 83 pixel and also make this gap to zero and let's set this color to the same color of this section background and i want to give some border around that so from this advanced tab from this border option let's make the border to solid give it to 2 pixel and also give a light color here from this preview we can clearly see this border okay but at the bottom i want a different color of border so for now i want to make it to zero and here let's also give it a box shadow okay now we can see this beautiful box shape and now inside this i want to add our text so let's take an heading widget inside this inner section and here you can write down one of your services like graphics design and here for this text i want to make sure to keep this always in two lines so after this space i want to put an enter and you can see here this line break tag all right so after that here let's set a color from the here to black and also change its font to these pop pins reduce this font size and to place this inside this box we need to go to this position settings from here and also make its position to absolute and align this from this bottom direction okay but you can see it's going outside of this box so to fix this we need to do two things first of all we need to go to this inner section and here we need to remove this inner padding so make this column gap to no gap and also we need to make the widget spacing for this column to zero okay now that looks perfect so we only need to give some padding here make it to 18 pixel that looks perfect now after that i want to add a number at this top right corner here so we will do that by using the same heading widget so let's just duplicate this 
and here I want to change this text to slash one. Let's make its alignment to the right side. And from this style, I want to change its font size to much smaller, 14 pixel, and also reduce the font weight to 500, and also give it a, another color. And instead of this corner, I want to make its position to here. So make it to right and this one to top. And after that, here I want to add an arrow icon right after this text. But for this, we will not use this default icon widget because I don't like to use this default bold icon. Instead, I will use this divider widget and we will convert this into an icon. So if we go to our this navigator view, okay, this one is our the new divider. Let's drag this after this heading. And here for this color, I want to use this same orange color. So I want to go again to here. And for this orange color, I want to save it as a global color. So let's click on this plus icon and give its name to orange color and click on create. Okay, so let's go back again to this divider here and select this brand new orange color. Give its weight to 2 and also remove this gap. And from this content tab, let's also set a width to 30 pixel, make this alignment to this right side. And also from this advanced tab, let's set its position to right after here. So make it to absolute from the right and bottom, adjust its positioning. Okay, but here you can see only this line. I also want to add the arrow on this right side. So to add this, we need to write some custom code to here. Let's paste this and you can see this arrow looks really very really nice. So after this arrow, lastly I want to add our this bottom line which will be basically animating from this direction when you hover over on this. So for this, let's also take an, another divider widget and here this is this one. So let's drag this at the very bottom. Let's give it to the same orange color, make its weight to 3, gap to 0. And as we make its weight to 3, so to place this inside this box, we need to add the same amount of negative margin here. Okay, now that looks perfect. So we have done everything with our box. Now I want to add our this shuffling images. So for this, I want to take an another inner section. So here this one is our inner section. Let's just right click on here and duplicate this. And inside this, I want to clear all of this. Let's take an image inside this and upload an image from our gallery. Let's also set a height and width from here. And make sure to put the object fit to cover to maintain the aspect ratio of this image. And here, if you look at our this final result, you can see we have used a lot of images for our this section. So we need to make our this image size really very small. So before uploading, we need to make sure to resize those images. Okay. Now let's add some box shadow with these images. And after that, here initially I want to place this image at this position of this section. So for this, we need to add some negative margin with this section. Minus 180 pixel. And then let's also add an, another image after that. So let's duplicate this and let's upload an image from here. But here I want to place all of our these images at the same position. So for this, we need to make all of the images position to the absolute. So make it to absolute and also for this absolute. And now for these images, I want to make some random position by using this transform option. So first of all, let's take a look at this offset option. Change these X and Y values. And I also want to rotate this image by using this rotate option. Let's do some another random position for our this second image. And by following this, let's also add some other images and do the same thing. Okay, you can see I have taken some other images, but these are showing above our this box. So I need to just go to this top inner section, which is basically our this text box. So I want to increase its Z index and now it's showing perfectly. 
So finally, I'm going to add our this incredible hover effect. So for this, we need to do some couple more things. We need to add some class with some of our element. So first of all, for this intersection, let's make it class to shake square for this divider, which is basically works as its background. We need to add here shake dash background for our this main heading. Let's make it to shake heading. For this arrows, this one, we need to make it shake dash arrow and for this last one which is our this bottom border we need to add here shake dash line and for our this top column we need to add another class shake space then inactive so after adding all of these classes we need to go to this top section and here we need to add some custom css code so let's paste it to here and you can see Initially, our images has been goes behind this text box and the box shadow with this box has also been removed. So we will only show this box shadow when we hover over on this. So from here, let's also add an HTML widget and we need to write some JavaScript code to achieve our this effect. So here I want to place our this HTML widget right after all of the images and let's paste this code. And from this HTML widgets advanced tab, from this motion effect, we need to make its entrance animation to this one, Tara. And now if we hover over on that, you can see this cool shaking effect, everything working properly. But if you notice, you can see these images are comes immediately after hovering on this. So I want to make some animation delay for all of our images. Let's say for our this image, if I want to add an animation delay, I just need to write this code. And here you can see I have given its delay 0.3 second. So you can see this image comes a little bit after all of the images. And to create this shuffling effect to more realistic, I want to add some different delay with the different images. So let's say for our this image, instead of 0.30, I want to make it to 0.35. For this one, let's make it to 0.4 and like this one, let's do it for another images. Okay, so after adding all of this, now we can see this animation looks much better. Now like this one, I want to add another one. So I just want to copy this whole column from here. Let's delete this one. And I want to duplicate this two more times. But before that, here for this second section, Let's go to the very last. Here I want to delete our this HTML widget because we don't need this HTML widget more than once. So let's delete this and finally let's copy this two more times. From this navigator view, now let's quickly change all of the content and images. Okay, so after changing all of this content, now for this middle two boxes, I want to increase its height. So go to this divider settings. This one, let's make its weight to 263 and do also for this one. And for our this second column, I want to make its bottom aligned with our this first column. So for this, with this column, I want to use some negative margin. Okay, now that looks perfect for our desktop devices. So let's also check its responsiveness for the tablet. So on tablet, I want to make two boxes per lines. So let's make all of the columns with 250%. Then for this each boxes, we need some spacing from the left and right. So go to this column settings and here make the padding in percentage from the left and right. From the top and bottom, we can also add some margins. And do the same thing with all of our columns. So let's also do it on here. Okay, then here I want to make all of the boxes to equal height. So let's go to this divider widget settings. And here we need to increase the height from here. But you can see this weight option has no responsive option. So if we make a change it on here, it will be also affected on our desktop. And as we cannot see it from here, so we will do that by using this custom CSS. So let's paste this and here you can see only for the tablet device we have set its width to 163 pixel. 
and let's do it also with this one so for this divider widget let's paste it to here perfect so here if we hover over on these boxes for some devices you may notice these images are actually going outside of our screen so this would not be a problem because here this animation's main purpose is to attract your visitors by showing this animation so they don't need to focus on each and every details of these images okay that should not be a problem but here when these images goes outside this screen sometimes you may find a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom so to prevent this we need to make these sections overflow to hidden all right then lastly let's finally check this on our mobile and on mobile you can see it's already looking perfect here we don't need to do anything so that's how we can create this amazing shaking hover effect in elementor if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video